My name is Mark Müller. I'm an ear, nose and throat specialist and a facial plastic surgeon. I am the medical director here in BR Medical Suites and today I want to talk with you about the nose because I think the nose is a wonderful miracle of nature and not just the two holes in the middle of our face. Let me show you with a diagram how the nose works. If this is your forehead and here is your nose, here would be your upper lip. This is a cross section, so behind the upper lip we would have the teeth and then would be the hard palate and the soft palate. Your nostril would be here and the nasal cavity would be that huge and it would end here and here would be skull base. Here would be your vertebra and the lower lip would be here the lower teeth would be behind that and the tongue would be behind that and at the very end of the tongue would be a cartilaginous lid that sits actually inside the voice box with the vocal cords here yeah and it protects the voice box whenever we swallow it goes down so that no food would go into the windpipe and everything would go behind it in the esophagus. Yeah? The esophagus ends here with the stomach and here would be your chin and this diagram here would be your eyeball and here the nerve, the, the optic nerve. In the forehead we usually have a frontal sinus and behind that we have the brain and the brain here would be muscles. The brain has fibers that go directly into the nose. If you look in your own face, the nostrils are actually pretty small compared to the mouth. And you would think, why do I have such small nostrils, although I want to breathe a lot of air? This is because inside the nose there are structures that are very important to prepare the air and the nose comes the air comes from beneath the nose goes inside bounces against this deviated area and then passes through structures that are inside the nose goes here and then all the way down to the lung in that very moment when the air goes into the nose our brain knows the speed the temperature the humidity the composition and content of the air the odors if there is any dangerous gas or so and reacts immediately by uh, forming these structures in a way that either more or less air can pass through that the air gets heated up or cooled down to 37 degree celsius and that we get from our sinuses which are surrounding the nose uh, the humidity to have up to 100% humidity in the air. That means the air should be loaded with a lot of water. Only through this water, only through this humidity, we can extract the oxygen from the air. In our lung, the red blood cells can only extract ox oxygen through water. So that's why we need that humidity. Everybody of you knows that when we breathe out, we breathe out a lot of humidity. This humidity is created in the sinuses, but also in the lung. This is why I wanted to show you the importance of nose breathing. Um, and if the nose is blocked, then we will have problems or we develop problems like snoring and sleep apnea. However, this will be a topic of our next video. Thank you very much for watching.